fast, agile, relentless, deadly. Sinar Fleet Systems proudly presents the Thai IN Interceptor for the discerning individual who wants to rip and tear with maximum efficiency. Hello fellow pilots, Sabin here, bringing you a no-frills loadout guide on how to build the TIE Interceptor to help your team, rack up some kills, and take out the rebel scum while you're at it. The TIE Interceptor fills in on the Interceptor slot for the Empire side. It is one of the most fragile ships in the game, and takes a high learning curve to master properly, but once properly mastered, output some of the highest DPS levels in the game, right up there with the TIE Bomber, and can be a valuable asset to your team, up into including doing capital ship damage and taking out subsystems. So here's what we're going to do and how we're going to load it up. First off, you want to be running standard lasers. This will help with our secondary weapons, along with the fact that honestly after trying Plasburst and Ion and doing Rapid Fire, I honestly just prefer the standard lasers. You're free to opt in what you want, but standard is the way to go. Next up is going to be our left auxiliary, and we're going to be fitting this with the repair kit. Now you can actually choose two options here, especially if you run some of the stealth options later, such as the targeting jammer and the stealth hull, but I like having a little longevity in a fight. So running the standard repair kit won't exactly hurt you, but I wouldn't run anything else with it, as you do need to spec into the stealth hulls to properly use them. The next component of our build... EXPLOSION! No, I'm not even kidding. I don't want you running cluster missiles. I don't want you running starfighter missiles. I don't even want you looking at that mine. We're adding barrage rockets for a sweet and sexy 400 DPS. That's on top of our lasers and on top of the overcharge bonus of 25%, by the way. Countermeasures should unfortunately be left to seeker munitions or seeker warheads. After extensive testing, I haven't really been able to find a use of the chaff particles. Some people have had hit or miss results, and honestly, there's just not enough charges compared to the Seeker Warheads. The no you function would be really nice to use, but you only get two charges, and honestly, I haven't had it pop off a lot. In the Sensor Jammer, you're really only going to be using in stealth builds in combination with that jammer that we mentioned previously, along with the stealth hull. So stick to Seeker Warheads, they're, they're, they're the most bang for your buck. For your hull, we're going to be going with the Dampener hull. Now, unfortunately, I kind of wish that the TIE Interceptor had more options. It would be very nice to see something like the Agile hull, or other options that we see on other fighters for the Interceptor, but you really only have a choice between the Dampener hull and the Stealth hull, as for mentioned for Stealth builds. But we're going to be taking the dampener hull just to make it that much harder for somebody to lock on to us. The auxiliary one is not worth it. And lastly, but not least, and this might be surprising to some, I leave my engine stock. The default engine is neither bad nor worse or anything, but some of the alternative options aren't really that good. They have too many negatives to outweigh the positives, so if you absolutely want to run another engine, you can run twin propulsion for the extra acceleration, but I like all the maneuverability I can get out of the Interceptor. And now, how to play this build? It's pretty simple. Hold both triggers, or buttons, or whatever you have bound. What this build excels in is punishing anybody flying in a straight line towards you, away from you, or perpendicular to you. While it won't necessarily help you in dogfighting against a well-maneuvering foe, Anybody who doesn't take the time to evade or get the hell out of the way is going to suffer almost a thousand plus DPS from your combined barrage. Now, keep in mind, you do want to use these missiles as well against your cruisers, the capital ship, the subsystem, so make sure you work with your teammates and know when to push and know when to help out. As illustrated in the above clip, you don't want to be using your missiles at long range. No less than 500 meters I'd recommend. In fact, I'm still trying to train myself to get used to it because the barrage rockets travel at a thousand meters per second compared to your lasers which are 200 meters per second. It's a bad convergence and you only really want to be using it in short range and not when they're traveling perpendicular across your screen. But use them for some extra DPS and you will definitely excel on this build. As always, it's very important with an interceptor to know when to pull out and when to get the hell out of dodge. Know when to evade, practice your maneuvering skills, 
and learn the maps because there's some pretty cheeky breaky spots in the maps that allow you to do some pretty fun and insane maneuvers. You're still an interceptor, you don't have shields, and you don't have the 4000 HP of a TIE bomber. If anything, you just have that little bit of extra DPS to help out your team and also present a viable threat. Hopefully this helps you win some matches, I hope you enjoy the loadout, and fly safe pilots. If this video has helped you, feel free to like and subscribe. And why not consider jumping on over to the Discord, or come hang out on Twitch. I stream the game quite a bit, and I can guarantee you, you'll find me in an interceptor. I got the healing, I'm fine. Oh. And sometimes, I even crash in one too. All that effort only to It was oof. at this moment he knew.